As you can see, my RE7B is now completely tricked out, including the off-road tires, which were suggested by Mr. Brophy1322, one of the most informative GTA people out there. This man knows cars. I'm going to put a link in the description here so he can explain to you why these off-road tires are the best. You just have to see that. But, I tell you what, they are the best. With the car beefed up now, I took it back out to the Sonora Freeway on that track. As you recall, now if we look over here at my old Reliable, now marked with the the new base Ukuk symbol, this car did a, a, a best roughly two minutes on, you know, two minutes even on the Sonora Freeway. Pretty close. This car, with stock tires, did it in 151 and change. With the, actually it was 152. It was 152 and change. And then, with the addition of the Brophy suggested tires... We're talking 150.9. So, although this is still, this car is still has been nerfed two days after I bought it, it is still significantly faster than this one, on, at least on that particular track. I'm gonna, still going to try and see if there's a significant top speed difference. As you can see, this one doesn't have the, uh, the snow tires, the off-road tires here. This is the first car I've experimented with with this with, and it uh, it does work very well. So that is the good news. This is a this car is set up. I, I decided to go. I was going to do it all black, just like this one, and then I thought, you know what? For night tracks, it might be better to have it a little more visible, so just so I could see it. So more in the livery of like you know my desert raid over here. Still heavy with the black and yellow. One uh, interesting thing I did note about it, though. The good news is it is still you know, the fastest car in the world, and I do have it here. But every once in a while... Okay, let's try it out here. Let's see if we can get this to recreate... There we go. Sometimes the door is a little funny. Does have some problems with the door. At least that door. That's the only one I've I've had the problem with. Makes makes it a little hard to see out the uh, the windshield here. Let's. I mean, it's really great if it's a bright sunny day. I mean, you get that extra tint going, you know. Yeah, that's, that's the that's the tint boost, and you get a lot more fresh air. It's just lovely. <laughs> On that note, this is the Black Knight. Let's see, is it, does, it, does it drive like that? Does it come out of the... Nope, now it's good. That only happened in the garage? Yep, might be a garage thing. Put on that note, folks. This is the Black Knight. Have a great night.